two, one, let's go. Try to run from the switch, we catch him. Dumb ass ain't making too far. Whole lot yeah. of in the cop. I shoot to the mall. I'm in the cop with a up, trying to fuck me up. Bro, 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 bro. Gotta stick with a drum. They like, who that, who that? I'm throwing something, trying to run. Two red, two red. We start to freeze. And so it looks you right between the eyes. Jumped off the bench and I turned into a star. I'm a baller. Anywhere I go, my gang, they know who we are. You can't even see me on FaceTime. Bitch, just ask if I'm the one to DM the offense. That ain't me, bitch. That's the fake job. Reaction video, man. Back at it again with another banger, man. First reaction video of the day and the last reaction video of the day. Last banger of the day. Last reaction video of the day. Now, I already know what I said yesterday. You guys already know what I said yesterday. Darn Man video coming to you guys slick and smooth. I'm not going to lie with you guys. This might be the best Darn Man video that I've done only because it's going to relate to a lot of people, man. Dad still sons iPad for drugs. Everyone knows someone that does drugs. Either whether it's hardcore, a gateway drug, or anything like that. And honestly, it, it's sad to see. It's sad to see the start of what they were doing and then to, to what they're doing now. And it's like a big de-escalation of things. But at the same time, at the same time, bro, don't let that be the stop to your journey, man. Keep going. Keep doing your thing, man. If, if, you, if you do drugs, man, I'm going to let you know you're not alone. But at the same time, get help. You have to be the change. That's all I'm going to say, man. Now, let's get into it. Enough talking, man. 5.15 p.m. I'm excited these, these videos will be dropping around 6.30, but they will be dropping very soon. September 11. Let's see what the vibes are, man. Dad still son's iPad for drugs. Before we get to anything, hope you guys have a blessed day. Stay late. Stay on top of your grind. Last time I was going to that bag with that bag. I'm going to get it. Nobody's going to get it for you, man. Now, let's get into it. Three, two, one. Let's go. Come on, let me in, let me in. I need my stuff. I know you're in there. Hey, Mr. Cop, man, just mind your business because I work here and I'm looking for my jacket. Hey, oh, sir, are you intoxicated? Excellent detective work, Batman. Okay, smart guy, let's go. You're coming with me. Hey, go take me, man. All right, sir, all right, you keep still. All right, off rip. This is what I mean, bro. This is literally a cop video installed inside a dark man video. Now you're coming down. I'm fucking with it so far. Oh, Acting is actually elite. Phone call, let's go. They're letting me take you home. Thanks. Look, it's just been a misunderstanding. He yeah, swung Josh, on a cop. Bro. If this was the first time, I'd actually believe you. But you have to stop with all this ridiculous. Look, I told you it was just a misunderstanding. Josh, you have to get your life together. I am home. Bro, that cop sitting behind him like, you lying ass piece of shit. Most days with Cameron now, me, and dog. he's a teenager. He's asking me every day where his father is, and what am I supposed bro. to tell him? Don't forget, Sky, that I gave up everything to come back here to be with you. <sighs> Don't tell me how to live my life. Yeah. Mm-hmm. At that point, who believed? Because he ain't doing nothing but causing a ruckus. The fuck? Not even raising your damn son. Dad. Oh, hey, hey. Cam. Intoxicated You're working on your tablet still, again, bro. huh? It's pretty cool. Oh, yeah. I'm making an app for my basketball team so we can post our schedule and keep score for, like, people who can't make it so they can still follow along. Tough. Oh. I was also going to go grab some donuts at the 24-hour place to bring to school tomorrow. Practice is running late again because of the game. You want to come? I never well, see you know, it's getting a little late. I'm like, tired, you know. It's just... Okay. Well, do you think you could still make it to the game, though? Yeah, yeah, I, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see about that. He ain't going to the game, bro. Josh. We'll see. Your son wants to hang out with you, and you're being completely absent. Most kids his age don't even want to be with their dads, and he wants to be with you. Damn, I just, bro, I she's not understand. wrong about What that, don't you bro. understand? You know what it's like to have a father who doesn't pay attention to you. Why are you ignoring him? You know what, Cam? I think I can make it to the game this time. Awesome. Lying. Thanks, Dad. He ain't gonna make it. He's just saying that. What now? I thought that's what you wanted, isn't it? Of course it is. But I don't want you to make promises that you can't keep. Oh, feel me? I can't do anything right, can I? We're on the same side here. All right, I gotta take this. Uh, we're in the middle of the- Night. Talk in a second, okay? No. Uh, <clears throat> Hey, Reggie. 
I've been meaning to call you, man. It's been such a crazy week. You're late. Again. I am, I, but I thought I'd... You have until this time tomorrow to pay me back. Damn. Not What's some of it, but all of what you owe. Understand? Yeah, I understand. This time this tomorrow, dude yeah, is I'll have it. Don't worry cooked. about it. The only person who should be worried... Completely cooked. ...is you. I'm giving you a second chance. Don't waste it. Yeah, that dude is cooked, bro. He is not coming back from this one. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm late. I woke up and my head was pounding me, man. I'm telling you, it's never gonna happen. Again. I know. I heard it. Hurry up and go clock it. Never mind. I'll take care of it for you. Take care of this customer. Hi. Hi, how can I help you? Well, I bought this phone charger here, but it doesn't work with my phone, so I need to return it. Okay, can I see your phone? Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, this is the wrong phone. Oh, we don't do returns if the fault's not ours. You brought the wrong charger. But, can I talk to the manager? Why? He's just gonna tell you the same thing. There's no need to be so surly. Surly? You know what, lady? I've been having a rough few days. I don't need your sass mouth, okay? Hey, yo! No. In front of the boss customer. is crazy. No, not the customer the anymore. Bye-bye. Josh. You can't talk to our customers like that. We just lost business. I'm gonna give you a second chance. And one more incident like, like this, and I have no choice but to let you go. You know what? I don't need a second chance, because I quit. I never wanted this. This dude gets mad at everybody else for doing the wrong thing. And then when people call him out on his bullshit, that's when he gets mad. Stupid job anyway. Make that man. shit make sense, bro. A new tablet? Does he have any idea how much a new tablet costs? Yeah, I know, a lot. Y you know what, listen, just tell him to wait until Christmas, okay? I know, I know, and I told him. You don't got money for that shit. Hey, Sky. Yeah, I got some time off today. Um, you know what, I'm thinking of taking Cameron up on uh, getting some donuts. You know what, tell him to leave that tablet at home. Yeah, I don't want him on that the whole time. All right, I'll see you at the shop. Is he gonna actually make it there though? Come on, honey, he's waiting. Oh, and leave the tablet. I was gonna show my new app. It's almost done. Next time. Let's go. Don't they live together? The fuck? Nah. There is no way this dude about to take the tablet right now after he just made up some bullshit. I'm sick. That dented ass iPad. You better make it look like someone broke it. You gonna know your drug addict guys took that shit. I don't want to believe it. We waited a really long time for you. And then we get back to the house and Cameron's tablet is missing? Damn. Imagine my shock when I turned on its tracking and I see it here. What? <laughs> like I said, bro, he gets caught out for his bullshit and walks out on the situation every time. Like he's never in the wrong. Ooh, like no, no, no bro, you're cooked. Dad? Do you have any idea how much that tablet means to your son? You know what? First of all, he's on that thing way too much, all right? He's, he's staring at it, it's warping his brain. Are you kidding me? He That's loves wild. to code. He is building an app for his team. He loves that. He told you that. How could you? You know what? I didn't even ask to be his dad. Wow. I didn't want a kid in the first Holy place. Holy shit. Huh? You're cooked. I did. No, I. Shut up. No way, he's about to get drugs. So he owes dude that money and is getting drugs with that money. I don't understand it, but this has to be the life of a crackhead. Has to be. Yeah, 
Yeah, he's about to get cooked. Come out, yeah. come out wherever you are. <laughs> I know you're here. I saw you hiding. <laughs> Told you, Josh. No more second chances. What'd you do he with my money? Come out. And I'll give you. Niggas hiding like a little ass. Like. If you're gonna do the crime, you better do the time. Whether it's stealing from somebody or getting caught stealing from somebody, bro. Or just doing a crime in general. But this Nick is the worst thief ever. Like, what? He stole his car. Ah! He took. Bro, he took this shit to the max. Who stole his, the drug dealer's car? Do this chop, bro. Do this chops. Oh, that's his dad. And his mom. So he adopted that behavior from all, all the bullshit. And that's the mom that he met in school. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie, hold on, man. Tia. And his dad left. I don't think people realize, like, how, like, people realize. the impact that a dad has on a family or like a mom a dad in any circumstance any person that just walks out like that that's crazy i don't think they realize that shit but you can't make that be your downfall you know what i mean oh hey what's going on why am i handcuffed you had substances in your blood and substances on your person again Damn. when you recover i'll be taking you into custody No, you're lucky to be alive. In fact, you weren't. What? He died for you a died second. You died for a few minutes in surgery. Wow. You shouldn't have been able to survive with what you went through. But somehow you did. I died? I would even call it a miracle. That's going to make him appreciate life way more, I'm telling you, bro. Near-death experiences. Every, it works every time. We didn't have an emergency contact. Uh, is there anyone I mean, that you would want us to died, call? Though. No. No? Okay. I'll be right back. Okay. He know he fucked up. We're here. Now let's go. Rehab. Well, you're lucky this is all you're being asked to do. The judge could have easily kept you locked up. He should have. I'm gonna go use the restroom. Okay, honey. I'll be out in the car when you're done. What's with him? He wants you to get better. Like what? Well, I'm here, aren't I? He wants you to want nigga. to be here. Hey, you must be Josh. I'm Alec, the group leader. I'll be your sponsor. Oh, Come on it's in. this guy. There's a seat right there. This guy's low key rude in the Dark Man videos. I'm not gonna lie with you. You want to tell us your story, Josh? We'd love to hear it. Uh, I don't think anybody wants to hear my story. It helps. Not just sharing, but hearing it out loud, and it helps the rest of us know we're not alone. Uh, well, thanks, but no thanks. Why don't, why don't you guys have at it? You know you don't get credit if you don't stay the whole time and actually participate, right? Nigga said I'm going to the bathroom. Mom said I'll be in the car. This nigga walks out of the bathroom, goes straight into the meeting where he's not even supposed to be. They both you have sure a lot of time leave for knowing where you'll end up? Like, what the hell? I don't really like talking about the past, but uh, clearly I don't have a choice. So I'll go ahead and tell you. You see, when I was young, my dad made it clear he wanted nothing to do with me. It looked like that dude about to laugh. That's when I fell in love with movies. It was an escape. 
but watching them wasn't enough. That's when you turn to drugs. Becoming a screenwriter in Hollywood became my greatest dream. Nothing mattered more to me than creating stories that helped me escape my life. Well, maybe Sky. She's the only other thing I cared about. I worked on a really meaningful screenplay loosely based on my relationship with my dad while Sky worked on her college applications. Did it work, nigga? Like, did you get into the fucking- The dream was we were gonna move to LA so I could do movies and she could go to school, but she that dream pregnant. ended when she got pregnant. Bro, you don't have to end your dream just cause that happened. And I bet you he's blaming the child that was born because of that, that he can't finish out what he wants to do. But at the same time, to give you don't gotta stop your shit. But she had other plans. So I did what I thought was best for me. You went to LA without her. That's fuck, bro. It had to work out for you. It didn't. I wanted to be big. I just wanted everything to quick. No, I didn't have any patience for That's what happens, bro. Entry level too jobs. Greedy. No one would see me. You gotta be humble, bro. For real. No one wanted to read my script. I just felt so ashamed. Like a total failure. I was uh when I just started drowning myself in drugs and alcohol and A few weeks ago, I got into a really bad accident. When you don't know what to do, said it was a miracle that I survived that crash. I I'm believe him. I just don't know why. Out of all the people, I was given a second chance. I'll fit the insane. Thank you for sharing that with us, Josh. And you'd be surprised a lot of our stories aren't all that different. And the one thing we all talk about is when life gives you a second chance, whatever you do, don't waste it. He gonna waste that shit. Oh, I told you to be more careful. It was an accident. There's no reason to yell. Isn't that what you're doing? Yeah, that. <laughs> bro, how we go from how we go from rehab time yelling at another boss, bro? He about to get fired again. Look, why don't you take a walk? And decide if you really want this job or not, okay? Because that's no way to talk to your boss. For real. <sighs> she said take a walk, not a run. That's why your ass is panting now. Don't go back to the jacks, bro. Nah. I never wanted a son in the first place. Acting like his dad, bro. And he really got the bottle. Josh. Your second chance wasn't just about the accident. It's about us, too. Sorry, I'm sorry. She didn't even say no. She said, and it read no. Give it to like hey. a hobo on the street or something. Can you meet? You made the right choice throwing the bottle out. I could tell Sky you didn't drink if she doesn't believe you. Look, don't worry. You can turn this all around, I promise. It doesn't matter. I can tell Sky you didn't drink if she doesn't believe you. Nigga, what? That's his fault. If she problem. believes me or not. Like I am on the verge of just giving up. I mean, if it's not the dead end job, the horrible job with my boss, my past, I can't make anything work. Whatever I do, I just mess it up. 
I know it seems because impossible to turn things around at this point from where you're sitting, but it isn't. No offense, but, like, how would you know? Because I've been there too, Josh. Huh? Yeah. I, you don't know what I'm going through. He definitely probably does, though. Why do you think he's the leader of this fucking group? I carry this with me to remind me that every new day is a chance I never should have gotten. The dead end jobs, the rude customers and bad bosses, that's just how it starts. What? Getting back on your feet. You don't understand. To be fair, shit. He said what? All the terrible things we I do. I do not understand what he's trying to say. It should be hard. Going through tough times is how we learn things like patience. It's how we grow into having integrity. Yeah, it's hard. But this bracelet proves that it's possible. I know because I did it. He ain't wrong about that. Know what happened? Just like you. I should have died. I overdosed and the doctor said I wasn't supposed to make it. I'd already trashed my relationship with my wife and daughter. They didn't want anything to do with me. My life was in total shambles. But, but when I realized I had a second a chance, butt. one most people never get, I did everything I could to make the most of it because I finally admitted to myself that my family was worth it, and no matter how hard it was going to be. Bro, don't don't make the reason. I'm, I'm not going to say don't make the reason about your family or your friends or anything. Make the reason about yourself. Like, you worried about other people. Nigga, make it like... Okay, here, I got a second chance. I have a second chance. I got to get my shit together. Don't be like, oh, it's hey, because of that. Because I, mean, I don't know where to start. Like, what? Like, all I want to do is just escape. I mean, yeah, if you, if you think about it all at once, it's going to be overwhelming. But you got to understand, it's not an overnight thing to rebuild your whole life. That's a fact. It's a process. That's a fact. And you just got to take one step at a time. <sighs> Look, I know you're trying to help. And I believe you. I've done too much. I lost too much. That's not even to say about with Sky, with Cameron, or my dad walking out. My future too. You're worried about after my dream, and I failed. Don't dwell on the past, man. Only look towards the future, bro. If you're dwelling on the past, you're worrying about your dad. That should probably happen like 15 years ago. So for 15 years of your life. You were sitting there doing nothing because of that incident. Come on, bro. Like, what? I had nothing behind me. Nothing ahead. As long as you keep going, you haven't failed yet. For 15 years of his Look, life, this is what it comes down to. Bullshit. What do you want for your life? You heard him. What do you want? You want this? Or that. I'm sorry, but you're not getting manager that quick. He had to do something for him to get manager spot. That's that's crazy. High school sweethearts. I feel like when when that plays into a factor, you feel like you practically know somebody until you don't, because they want to act like that. But you but should. Now go. he's trying. I don't here. deserve another chance, and I know that. No. My uh, ninety day trip. Got a promotion. 90 days. Promotion that that manager in like two days. For what I lost and what I just threw away. I know that. But I'll tell you this. If you ever need anything, whatever it is, I'm ready now. In reality, though, it's been three months since, since he started working there. So from the first month to three months, which is now, he's definitely earned manager. Let's just put it like that. He's definitely earned manager. It's not really up to me anymore. It's up to Cam. What do you say, champ? Hey. Whatever you choose to do, you know, it's okay, son. Like, I won't blame you. I haven't been here for you. And you don't owe me anything. Or whatever you decide on, yeah, subscribe, I should tell you. Because my father never told me that I'm sorry. And I love you. 
You didn't have it easy. I know that. But nah, I'm... that nigga's voice is deep as fuck. How old is this nigga? That bro, that nigga started talking about. Like, you're trying to get your life back together. I'm sure it's gonna be the hardest thing you've ever done. And I'll have your back under one condition. I wanna read it? Read what? The script. Are you sure you don't want something else? I mean, cause. Josh! <sighs> okay, okay, it's just that. I was really young when I wrote that, and I, it's probably fine, I think that you'll have a different opinion of me. Different how? It looked at me less like a dad and more like a scared, little boy, broken kid. Because that's what you were at the time. That's exactly who I was. Well, that's the deal. Take it or leave it. Okay. Yeah. What's it gonna be? Bro, shut the fuck up. Okay, now she's doing too much. I'm sorry. This is becoming a moment. She fucked it up. I'm not I'm not gonna lie. Of course you can read it. Like she did not have to say that. Yes. Yeah, what's it gonna be? Yes, some things never change. Yeah, you're still a cheater. Uh, what? I've That's never <laughs> cheated. I love your script. There's something that she got. It's tell. heartbreaking in the best ways. Sad, but not just sad. It's funny too, and all around just beautiful. And the way your dad made you feel, I can totally relate to that. That's how you made me feel. Uh, no offense. That's offensive. Look, I understand why you believed in your writing so much. You were right. This is what you're supposed to be doing. And I can't believe no one ever bought it. It's incredible. Looks like you have a fan. Well, thanks, Cam. But unfortunately, you and your mom are the only ones that think it's any good. Because nobody gave me or the script a time of day. That doesn't mean they don't think they're good. They just what have they too did? much on their plate. You feel me? What if they did? Bro, she's blowing me, bro. Hello? This is she? My screenplay? What screenplay? I, I didn't submit any screenplay. What company do you work for? Really? Get in, get in, let's go. Can you hold on for a second? Thanks. So he went from not living with them, right? He went from not living with them knocking on the door to all of a sudden he's there while they're gone in the matter of two days, bro. Make that shit make sense. You'll I, never I don't believe he's on phone. I think we will. What? He's still not getting it. <laughs> Wait, did you do this? What did you do? I made a website for your script and I posted it. Oh. I shared how you overcame your addictions and how the script is based off your childhood and your father. I, I even made a TikTok for it and our story. It went viral. That's a good father. Now people bro, are noticing her. and... And you better get used to it. Son, Apparently say. there's a bidding war on it. Mm -hmm. Answer it! Uh, yeah, yeah. Hello? Yes, uh, the script is mine. How much? Well, that is a very generous offer. Um, actually, can I call you back tomorrow? Yeah, I'm spending today with my family. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Bro, I don't hey, this so shit. I'm a little bit tied up so right many now. Holes um, this can story? I call you back tomorrow? All right, fantastic. Dad, don't you want to talk with them? This has been your dream. No. This has always been my dream. Look, I'll call him back tomorrow. We have a basketball game to go to. Let's go. Yes. Now, who wants some donuts? I got some for us, got some for the team. I know I do. Yeah. yeah. Like I said, always keeping promises. Eight yeah, donuts. Look, the game you said you were going to go to. OK, so there's five people on the team. There was eight donuts in total. They just took two. So now there's six. Five people eat it. What about the bench players or the coach? What the fuck? Um, was months ago. I might be a little late, but I'm still keeping them. What changed? Uh, My life. I just realized that when life gives you a second chance, whatever you do, 
Don't waste it. <laughs> All right, bro. Just jump in front of the fucking shit like that. Man, that was very heartwarming. I'm not going to lie. Like I said, a lot of people deal with addiction every day. So, if you feel like you're alone, you're not. Like I said, bro. Even the Dark Man video is literally showing you that people deal with this shit on a daily basis. Like, it's not just a one-person thing. Whether it's alcohol, drugs, anything. Which alcohol is a drug. People don't know that, but it is, man. Yo, I'm not here like that reaction video, man. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that post notification button, man. As always, I'm going to see y'all in the next one. Peace and love. And y'all.